Um, I'm James Milne and I'm a Newport-based uh, artist. Um, I work in the National Museum in Cardiff. Um, I've studied fine art in Scotland, uh, drawing and painting. And I also studied documentary photography at Killian. Okay, so it's by Ernest Saboli. So I know that he taught um, painting at Newport College of Arts. And then I think that that's one of the reasons why we've got a good um, section of work by, by Zaboli. Um, and he's been very influential with, with other artists. Um, and it's a fairly large uh, painting. Um, I assume it's on the Rhondda Valleys where he, where he grew up. Um, but it's a very interesting composition, it's very dynamic. Um, and it probably shows a period of the valleys which is now obviously long gone with coal tips. Despite all the sort of activity that's gone on this side of the work, you've got this kind of very open and empty sun rise or sunset in, in the top right hand corner. So it creates this really interesting um, sort of dialogue between the landscape or the urban landscape or the coal landscape and then the sort of natural landscape. And then up here you've got what I assume is clouds. So is there a sort of dialogue between light and dark? So there's a lot going on uh, in the work. Um, so the more you look at this, the sort of more you see, and then you've almost got these kind of totemic sort of figures in the landscape or in the sort of urban urban areas. Um, and after looking at some of the other Zaboli's works online uh, and in books, a lot of figures seem quite isolated. Uh, I think it's really important to sort of say that this is a really internal landscape as well. So we've got figures inside uh, houses here. Uh, and there's something slightly sort of unnerving about this, is that person caged in or are they, it's hard to say what's, what's going on here, or are they in dialogue with this, uh, this figure here, but um, it's, it's beautifully put together. I mean, these railings here, are, you know, for somebody who makes drawings and paints, it's, it's just lovely the way this has been put down, because um, it's almost very fluid, um, and very natural, it's not too, too thought, thought out. It's a completely unique, diverse landscape. Um, and it's almost like when you experience walking next to a sculpture, your physicality changes if it's a large work of art. So you might feel small or heavy or light. And I think this work is kind of doing that. I think he's kind of looking and trying to figure out, well, how do you articulate a, a landscape like that in a, in a flat work of art? And I think it's, it's really interesting for that, I think. So I don't, I think it's impossible to say what exactly, exactly is about and pin that down. Um, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's okay to just be almost confused by it. I think that's a, an interesting um, point to make about the painting. There's clearly strong elements of drawing in this. So the, the, the last marks here are almost like you would just draw with a, a crayon or a pencil or a charcoal. I still paint a lot and I, I draw a lot. Um, and yeah, it does, it does influence me a lot because, um, like I said, I think it's nice to see someone wrestling with that topography of, of the valleys and, and trying to work out um, or experience it in, in, a, in a flat image. And I think that anyone that makes, whether it's photography or drawing or painting, is, is going to deal with that because, especially as a photographer, when you go out and experience something, so say you photograph a large castle or, or, or an industrial ruin, that first-hand experience, your relationship to that object is really what the work is about. And how do you articulate that with a flat image? It's, it's, it's really hard. And I think this has got all the complexity in it. There's a lot going on in this painting. I mean, I, come, I could come back next week and look at this and, and think something completely um, different about it. So it is hard to describe. Works about demand time and they demand you pay them that time to sort of start to unlock them. I mean, that's why we have them, you know, and poetry and all those other sort of areas that don't give over easy. You know, and why should they? Because subjects are complicated. The valleys is a, you know, a complex environment, you know. I mean, if, if Zaboli went back there today, this painting, he would be completely different. It would probably be more green in it or more different shapes or he'd respond entirely differently. And I think that's the job of artists is to go out into the landscape or and to do portraiture or whatever it is they, they want to look at and come back and almost kind of report back well, what have they experienced, what have they thought about, what have they tried to articulate, you know. It's really incredible that we have these paintings uh, in Newport. So there's, no, there's no other experience uh, like it to have it in a, in a gallery space, so 
it's really, really important people come in and experience these works like this um, because you, you can't get this any other way.